Get your blah 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 blah. Me, 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 me. Hey everyone, Steve here from Tech Support, taking time out from a busy day of shaving to help you get your new VPTZ camera on your local network. There are a few different ways to do this. I've chosen one, but uh, I'll explain a few others as well. The way I've done it, I've got it connected to a PoE switch that supplies my power and my internet connection. Uh, alternatively, you can use a non-PoE switch, use the included power supply, get it on that way. From there, uh, you can either direct connect from your computer to the back of the camera or go over Wi-Fi. Now that we've got our camera connected, we are going to go to the next step, which is to select our network down in the bottom right hand corner of the system tray. I'm going to click that and when it pops up, I want to select network and internet settings. From here, under the status screen, we are going to select change adapter options. And here we're either going to select our Wi-Fi connection or our local area connection, depending on how we have it connected. From here, the steps are the same for both. You're gonna right click on your connection. You're gonna select properties. And we're gonna select internet protocol version four and click properties one more time. From here, we are going to select use the following IP address. Here we need to put in an address that's going to match that that the camera comes at out of the box, which again is 192.168.1.162. So I'm going to select 192.168.1.121. When I hit tab, subnet mask will autofill in with 255.255.255.0. And for the default gateway, I'm going to punch in 192.168.1.1. We can leave DNS server address blank. We're going to click OK and close this properties window out here. From here, we can jump to our web browser and I should now be able to punch in the IP address of the camera and have connectivity. And there we are. Our default uh, username and password are admin and admin, which I did wrong. Bear with me. Here we go. Password time, admin. And we're into our camera here. So as you can see, say hi Florante. That's my good buddy there, Stan, hanging out, supervising me, making sure I, I know what I'm doing. Thank you, Stan. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and go to config and select network. Now that we're on our ethernet tab, we can go ahead and select configuration, configure IP address, I'm making up words. And uh, from here, this is where you're going to punch in an address that is compatible with your local network. The network I'm on here is a 192.168.30. So I'm going to just change this to a 30 right here because I know that there's nothing on my network that has the address of 162. It's very important that you give it a unique address that's not in use on your network. So that way you don't, excuse me, create any IP conflicts. Also for the gateway here, we're going to change this to a 30 as well. Gateway is always the address of your router. So when I come down here, I'm going to con configure the DNS settings. If these are not filled in, go ahead and put in 8.8.8.8 .8 for the first and 8.8.4.4 for the second. We're going to click save. We see that our save was successful. And at this point we should lose connectivity because that is now on the new address. Our next step is to go back down to our network settings here. Gonna select the network, select network and internet settings, change adapter options, and do the same steps in reverse. We're gonna right click on this guy, select properties, internet protocol version four, obtain IP address automatically, and close this back out. So now I should have connected internet connection and I should be able to punch in the new address and connect to my camera. And there it is. Now I can connect this here. I see my live image. I can make my camera move up and down. And if I go to configuration, I can double check my network settings under network and ethernet. And we see that in fact, we're all good to go. Our camera's working. We're now ready to use it. Be sure you record the IP address of your camera for future use. That way you always know where to access it. And uh, from there, you're all set. So uh, thanks for following along. Hope you found this helpful. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. Thanks.